Shalom Aleikum, Shalom Aleikum family, people of the world. Um, today's topic family, I want to cover the word uh, Semitic. Because this word been flying around in the media lately, dealing with certain brothers out there. And it's dealing with anti-Semitic. So we want to dive into the word anti-Semitic and what it really means. And we're going to see and prove by the definition of this word, if the brothers are anti-Semitic. So let's dive in. All right, first of all, family, the word anti. The word anti means to be against or hostile towards or opposite towards. All right? And you can find these diction, um, dic um, you can find these definitions in the uh, dictionaries such as the New Webster's World College Dictionary, 4th edition. Just about any other uh, dictionary, but you have to be careful because these dictionaries, they'll mix it up on especially new, newer modern ones. Um, especially the brothers and sisters that's waking up. So, you know, they're trying to water it down. But, <clears throat> okay, moving right along. So now we know that the word anti means to be against. Semitic. The word Semitic comes from the word, the Hebrew word Shem, meaning descendants of Shem. This is where the word Semitic comes from. So, to get a proper understanding, who are the Shemites? We have to dive into the scriptures. And I'm going to just read a few. Of the, I'm not going to read them, but I'm going to just quote the scriptures for the video's sake. It'll be too long, but I'm going to quote these scriptures family. And you can go in yourself and study these scriptures and read them for yourself. All right. Now, the first scripture we're going to cover dealing with Shem, we're coming from the book of Genesis, chapter 11, verse 10 through 27. You can read that concerning the bloodline of Shem. It's going to outline the bloodline of Shem. And you go on to now Genesis, chapter 14, verse 13. It's telling you who Abraham is. It says that Abraham was a Hebrew by nationality. Now we go on to the book of Genesis, chapter 21, verse 2 through 3. Abraham's son Isaac. So we all know the story. Abraham had Isaac. Isaac had Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons, which became known as the 12 tribes of Israel. And one of those tribes, Yahweh chose to be the ruler forever. Second Chronicles 28.4. And that was Judah. Now, Judah's from the same tribe of Israel. Right? Abraham's their forefather, which is a Hebrew. So, let's find out who Judah is. Now, if you go to Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2, it tells you, who Judah is and what color he is, is identifying Judah, right? I know you have a lot of people going to comment on this video saying that, oh, color doesn't matter. Okay, if color doesn't matter, then you won't mind us identifying the true Hebrews, right? The Semitic people. Because it always be a, 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 a fault when the so-called black man of America comes to identify himself First thing everybody wants to scream, oh, color doesn't matter, but it's all right for you to portray that other image. Right? Moving right along. All right. David was the king of Judah, 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verses 1 through 12, right? And 13. David had a son, Solomon. Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 1. Songs of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Solomon identified his color. Say, I am black unto the ground. Right? Moving right along. Now, Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 19, says that the cities of the south shall be shut up, and Judah shall be carried into captivity. Right? So, before we dive off into Judah being led into captivity, we want to kind of like backtrack and find out what the word Semitic means. So we're going to go to the dictionary. We're going to go to uh, the uh, Western's New World College Dictionary, 4th edition, and read what Semitic is. 
Semite, a person regarded as descendant from Shem, a member of any of the peoples speaking Semitic language, including the Hebrews, Arabs, Assyrian, and Phoenicians. So here we see that the word Semitic comes from the people Shem. And we just outlined the bloodline of Shem back in Genesis chapter 11. Abraham had Isaac, Isaac had Jacob, Jacob's name was changed to Israel, and had 12 sons, became the 12 tribes of Israel, whom all was black by color. If you want to identify these people with woolly hair, right? This is where the Messiah comes from, the tribe of Judah. Okay, so moving right along. Now, for a brother to be anti-Semitic, that would mean that he would be going against himself, or against his people. You know, so, and people want to um, attack these brothers, you know, due to their status and things of that nature and try to justify that they make an anti-Semitic remarks when they know that's a lie. You know who the, who, uh, the true uh, Shemites is, you know. So, once again, it can't be anti-Semitic. They are the um, Semitic people. So how can they be Semitic, anti-Semitic, you know? The, the, the enemy teaches us that the term Jew, which is derived from the word Hebrew, or uh, uh, the tribe of Yehuda, right? Now, if you go back and study that word Jew, you're going to see where it derived from. It derives from the term Jew, I mean Judah, which is Yehuda. In Hebrew. Now, it didn't say Abraham was a Jew. It said Abraham was a Hebrew. Alright? So let's get that straight according to the book. If you want to know the truth, go to the book. Not uh, lead on your own understanding and have people talk the world that the term Jew are the chosen people. It didn't say that. The scriptures don't say that. It said Hebrew. So let's get them facts straight concerning the Hebrew people. So now we all know the prophecy what Yahweh told Abraham concerning his seed would be in the strange land for 400 years in the servitude. And we can find that in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 15 verse 13 which reads, And he, you have said unto Abraham, Know of a surety that thou seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them 400 years. So that's prophecy. And no, it wasn't the 400 years that we was in the land of Canaan. I mean, Egypt. That was not servitude in the land of Egypt. If you go back and do some research and study of that story, you would come to find out that we was ruling in Egypt, in the land of Goshen, in Egypt. And our bondage was probably no more than probably about 100 or 80 years, if I'm correct from my studies that I did on that. But um, it had nothing to do with the land of Egypt. That was the prophecy. And if you go off in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, which outlined that we would come by ships. We the only people that came to a strange land on ships by force. So that identifies Abraham. And off in Genesis 5, 14, 13, it says that Abraham was a Hebrew. And I will read that. And there came one that had escaped and told Abraham, the Hebrew. So Abraham is Hebrew. No matter how you want to put it, how you want to say it, how you feel all about it. Abraham is Hebrew. His descendants are Hebrews. So, you know, the king of Egypt back in 1958, I forgot exactly what his name was, but he made a statement saying that he used the term Jew, but he was referring to the Hebrews. He said the Jews left Israel black and they came back white. So, our brothers off in the Middle East, they know who we are. Matter of fact, all nations know who we are. They just kept it a secret until Yahweh Ben Yahweh came and released that seal. And then they got scared and worried because Judah was waking up. So, but, yeah, our brothers over in the Middle East, they, they, they know who we are. And they know that those people over in that land is impossible and it's not their land. So, how can one be anti-Semitic when he is the Semitic people? So, I'm going to end that right here, family. And uh, I'm going to put a little of the pictures of these definitions in. And you can go research this stuff for, um, for yourself. 
you know. So, Shalom Aleikum and Aniyah Hope.